And after no and three start, the London trip could be a turning point for the Jaguars this season. Jeff Wagaman and coach Gus Bradley discuss the trip in this week's film room. Joined now by the head coach, Gus Bradley. And Gus, the challenge of going to London, it has to help that you've been there three times before and taken an entire team and an organization across the big pond. It, it has. You know, we've done different avenues. We've gone where we left on Sunday after a game. We've left on Monday. And we've left on Thursday. And, uh, you know, I think we did that so we have a better feel what works out best for our team. Obviously, we're repeating a Thursday travel date. And, uh, you know, I think the players appreciate that part of it as well as the coaches. What have you learned besides changing the way you leave and the way you come back? Well, I think there's, you know, so many people are involved. We you know, with, with Hamza directing our travel and Jimmy Luck, all the, the equipment needs that we have and the travel for that. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of people involved to make this a smooth process. Uh, passports, you know, when to get the players passports and just the difficulties that comes in when you have an injury and trying to get someone else to go over to London, you pick somebody up uh, off another team or through waiver wires, you know, the process that it takes to get those guys on the plane and over to London. So because of the possibility of injury, whether it occur in practice or if somebody gets sick the night before the game or the day of the game, you travel all 53 and the practice squad in case you need to make some roster moves. Yeah, we do, and that's a good point. We also bring those practice squad players over because we have a Friday practice, and we use them on Saturday as well. So it gives us great flexibility as far as for practice and if we have an injury or someone gets sick. All right, so it's a long flight. We know that. Okay, fourth time coming up, going across the pond. What do you do on the long flight? Do you try to sleep? Yeah, you do, you know, because, uh, you know, we give the stats out to the players about, you know, how much time they need. And, and really, right when they get on the plane, they might move around for about an hour, but they need to sleep. So we all try to get caught up on our sleep, sleep during the, you know, early evening, uh, in through the night. So when we arrive there, because we take the players right on the field and get a workout in. And that's important, isn't it? I mean, you're, you're bound up on a plane for that period of time to, to get out, stretch, get some blood flowing, to get the body moving. Well, and that's another advantage too. I think when we first got there, the players, you know, we talked about having the players go right to their room and get caught up on sleep. But now it's a process. We go out to the field, we get a workout in, and the players have responded. You know, I know they felt a lot better about the travel after we did that. Can this be good for an 0-3 football team to pack the wagons up, not circle them, but pack the wagons up and take a trip? Well, you know, those fans over there have been great. I know the number, the fan base has grown, so it's getting closer to a home game for us. And, uh, you know, a great fan support, great environment for our players. And I know the last couple of years has been an environment that they've talked about. So, you know, when you need to take advantage of it. All right, thank you, Gus. Best of luck uh, okay, this week. Okay, thank you. So Sam Kavars is in London. He's going to have a live report for us later this morning, so be sure to join us also Sunday morning at 9 for our special pregame show before the Jags take on the Colts at Wembley Stadium.